Hello everybody, this is Wilson for Wilson's Gaming. I'm doing my very first food review. You know, food goes well with video gaming, especially junk food, uh, you know, typically. But I can't speak for everybody. For me, I just love my junk food when it comes to video games. And before I do some Breath of the Wild streaming later on today, I figured let's do a review of the Rattlesnake Burrito from Taco Bell. It's limited time. It's a it's pretty nice size uh, for the price it was. Uh, I forgot how much it was. I think it's close to $3 per burrito. So let's take a look. I know the contrast of my video is kind of bright, so I apologize for that. But it's a nice size burrito. Okay. And we're going to take a peek inside uh, without damaging everything. So let's take a quick peek. Mmm, so obviously it's not made with real rattlesnake, it's beef. It has french fries in there, and it has jalapenos, and has a special creamy jalapeno sauce and a cheese sauce. So let's, let's take our first bite, shall we? Mmm. I gotta get another bite because it's that was basically all tortilla. Mmm. It's good. So right off, uh, it has French fries inside the burrito. Right off, you get the nice, sweet, spicy taste from the jalapenos, and it mixes well with the cheese. The, the sauce is pretty good. It reminds me of the con queso salsa that you would get from uh, Walmart or whatever. It's that taste, and it's good. You get a little bit of onions in there. Uh, not much beef in mine. Maybe I haven't hit it all the way. Let's take another bite. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, definitely a lot of beef in the middle part. Mmm. That's good. Okay, so we're going to move. I'm going to save that for later, obviously. Uh, but we're going to move on now to the rattlesnake fries. So it comes in a, a smaller container. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit bigger than that. Let's open that up. I, I see some food reviewers reviewing this. And they had mounds of beef on there and mine they really I guess they couldn't spare it but that's what it looks like got like four jalapenos five six yeah, I'll show you again so again you get the uh, the seasoned fries you have the cheese nacho cheese sauce and you have that spicy jalapeno sauce that's also mixed into it one more time, and it comes with a little spork. So let's take a quick bite out of this. Oh, no, it slid off and it fell on my floor. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Well, before the ferrets get to that, let's take a quick bite before I end this video. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it's all over my shorts and everything. Oh, great. <laughs> so let's keep that in mind. Uh, this spork might not be too helpful because that stuff will just slide right out of the plastic container. Let's take a quick look real quick. Mm. 
Mm. It's really good. I mean, it just tastes like you can basically make this at home. Get some seasoned fries from Walmart and buy a can or a small jar of uh, jalapenos. You know, cook up the fries and oh, get some beef, you know, get some uh, frozen beef that's already cooked from Walmart, you know, heat it up and get buy some con queso uh, dip, you know, that you put on chips and get some Velveeta cheese. Put the cheese and sauce on top. Put your jalapenos and your beef on top. Oh, easy to make at home. And if you buy all that stuff in bulk, you can just keep on making this and making this for yourself. And save yourself probably a lot more money than you would than buying this. Uh, I highly recommend the burrito more. It seems like you get more value uh, for the money. So that was the rattlesnake burrito and the rattlesnake fries, guys. And... Unfortunately, I dropped a good portion of it on the floor and on my shorts. This is Wilson signing out. If you want to see me do more fast food reviews, let me know. Try something different. This is Wilson signing out.